What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and this is a video I think will be very helpful uh, for a lot of people. We're talking about defending the current meta in Clash of Clans. I don't want to limit this just to Town Hall 13 or to any Town Hall levels in particular. Obviously Town Hall 13 is a new one, a lot of the points are going to be relevant to it, but this can also cover other Town Hall levels because we're seeing a new meta introduced. Um, we're seeing the Siege Barracks really pair well with uh, Queen Charge Minor. Uh, we have the Yeti added to Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13, which has reintroduced, you know, Warden Walk, Yeti Smash, stuff like that. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about defending the kind of the current meta. And one thing, actually, is you look at this attack, 6 Healer Queen Charge. Um, I don't know, I've seen a couple of those in the most recent war. People were bringing out 6 Healers, so... Uh, that's interesting. Also, quick note, for the Hound Archer CC, that's how you want to poison it. Don't poison the archers too early. Poison both the archers and the pups by delaying the poison spell, because um, your queen's going to lock onto the hound anyway. The archers do negligible damage. So just keep that in mind. Wanted to point that out, uh, a few things in this attack. But let me get to a few tips that can help you guys for defending. This isn't going to be a live base build. Um, if you're interested in getting actual bases, you can check out my Patreon, uh, where I, um, as one of the perks, I will send you custom war bases each month, in addition to attacking advice, base feedback, other stuff you can find uh, on the Patreon Discord server. But enough, enough shameless plugs, let's get into some of the tips of today's video. First one, this is a big one, the physical shape of your base, specifically the outline of the outer walls. Make it bigger. Um, skinny bases where if you look at the profile of the base, like just the walls on it, if it's too narrow, if there's too many buildings outside of the walls, that's giving more power to siege barracks, more power to the king. It's making miners much easier because pretty much any attack almost is about taking a base and making it narrow somehow, making a narrow pathing through the base for whatever troops you're going to cram through it. And... You want to try to uh, make that not happen as the defender. So make your base big, have bigger, bulkier compartments, um, more stuff inside the walls, and the walls take up more of this total uh, real estate on the, uh, the base build interface. Make a bigger base. The siege barracks can't do as much because the wizards and the P.E.K.K.A. will be stuck on the outside. They won't be creating as nice of a funnel. And same with queen charges. Anything that tries to make a base skinny, which is you know, essentially what pretty much every attack strategy is trying to do, in a sense. So, spread out your base more. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, protect your eagle artillery. This is something that uh, it, people obviously do, but I think it needs to be done more, because a lot of attacks, this one included you're about to see, rely on getting in there and neutralizing the eagle. Uh, miners have definitely come back in the meta, and the eagle is a, a big miner defender. So, when you think about a queen charge, okay, the, the eagle's in the middle of the base here, but a level 70 queen can, can reach that uh, with the queen charge. So whether it's isolating your eagle on one side of the base where it's more difficult to do a queen charge, you know, trapping it, uh, having hard pathing into it for a charge, make the eagle difficult to reach. And if you look at this base, you have the eagle surrounded by inferno towers. I like the bases where the Inferno Towers are all on kind of one side of the base and the Eagle is on the other, and maybe the Town Hall is on like a third side if we're making kind of a triangle out of these three different uh, regions of your base, so to speak. So uh, I would recommend being creative with where you put your Eagle, making it so the attacker can't just come in like in this attack, Queen Charge, get the Eagle down, and also looking at making the base skinny. Look at the pathing that's being made here. And once again, this opening, which we like to have, you know, to make it hard to get the town hall, and it's kind of anti-Pekka Bowler, maybe anti-Yeti, which I guess is, is defending the meta somewhat. It's making it very open for the, the uh, Siege Barracks to get good value. Um, if the walls extended out further, the Siege Barracks would not get as much value. So everything kind of comes together here, but another thing, protect your eagle. Big, big, important thing. Um... Let me move on to the next one. When we're talking about pathing uh, for the queen, for miners, for anything that's non-defense targeting, and right now the, the meta is not a defense targeting one with hogs or lalo quite as much as it is the, you know, the more uh, miners, uh, yetis, other stuff that's non-defense targeting. When we're talking about those types of troops, uh, think about not the walls but the buildings um, because miners don't care about walls. For the queen charge, they're going to be using a jump spell or wall breakers. 
they're going to get past your walls. The walls are almost irrelevant to the point to some extent. Uh, one way to think about walls is you're not trying to uh, use walls to protect buildings and keep uh, troops out of compartments. You're using walls to guide them to the wrong place. That's how you want to think about walls. Um, it's counterintuitive, but the walls are really knowing where not to put walls, not knowing where to put walls. And I know, you know, maybe that conflicts a little bit with the last tip I, I talked about, which is making your base bigger and putting more stuff inside the walls. But within that, you want to have uh, walls that lead the troops away and thinking about the buildings within the walls. If you can make the walls invisible in your mind, how does the pathing work for miners going through the base? How does it work for a queen who's deciding which building to target next, uh, which is basically the closest building to her? So you got to think about that um, and see beyond the walls as well to think about the pathing through the base. Okay, um, this one's simple, easy to understand. Wherever they're going to do the queen charge, put your seeking air mines. Uh, best way to defend a queen charge is to have like three seeking air mines in a likely location. Uh, here's a hint, it's probably going to be going towards your eagle, but you know, maybe not. Uh, this, this attack was not a, uh, a queen charge, actually. The queen is being uh, used at the beginning to kind of create a funnel, and then it's going to be a warden walk into a yeti smash, um, which is interesting, but it, you know, the Lava Hound CC, it really uh, makes it easier to do this because your queen won't take out the Lava Hound and uh, nothing will, so uh, it works out nicely. But Anyway, getting off track a little bit. Uh, next tip is, this is something that's been around for a long time. I'm a big fan of the Inferno Islands. What's an Inferno Island? It looks like that, but minus the air sweepers. And I wouldn't put it in the middle of your base. It's not going to do as much there. But generally speaking, that's good against miners. Um, that's good against queen chargers if used in the right places with the right types of walls and uh, configurations around it. I think that's a good way to do because it's going to help spread out your base by having your Inferno Islands, um, keeping your Inferno separate from other buildings. Pair it with a Skeleton Trap or two, you're going to really stall miners if they have to come through that part of the base. And keep in mind, when people are deploying miners, um, they're going to try to get your Town Hall towards the beginning, obviously, before it can activate and do damage from a distance. So don't make it like a bunch of regular buildings leading into your Town Hall. Make the pathing difficult into your Town Hall so that people can't just spam miners from one side and get to it, uh, take it out before it can even activate with the Warden's ability. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then finally, as we wrap this video up with this last attack here, uh, be creative. You know, the, a lot of these bases you're seeing tripled in this video and that maybe you're building for yourself, it's not, it's, it's standard designs, it's stuff that is not currently in the meta. And uh, the, the meta is developing, you know, the, the cutting edge bases are still being developed, probably haven't been built yet. So it's important to really rethink why you're doing what you're doing and experiment with new designs and fun designs that might be a little out of the box but can work because people aren't used to attacking them. So obviously we're going to see things develop as, you know, defenses get maxed out here. It should be interesting to see in the uh, world champs at the end of this month. Uh, how how many three stars we see in a typical war, especially with these top clans. But as uh, defenses max out and as base building gets better, hopefully we'll move in the direction uh, of more of a balanced meta. But Town Hall 13 came out swinging with the uh, attacking power, and uh, especially with the Royal Champ not being maxed out for a lot of attackers still. That all being said, hope these tips helped. Once again, you can check out my Patreon for custom war bases each month. Link in the description if you're interested. And that'll do it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.